Matt, it's been a really busy three or four months for yourself. Just tell me a bit about what you've been getting up to whilst everyone else has been either furloughed or off. You guys have been really busy helping the community. So, yeah, it's been, it's been extremely busy. Um, very busy in a different type of way to what we'd normally do. Um, instead of going into schools, we've been delivering sort of thousands of meals uh, across the community, both across Barnet Harrow to existing fans um, and obviously new, new potential fans of the club um, and supporting every way in which we can. Uh, the minute the virus caused lockdown, you guys sort of sprung straight into action. Is it, it's over 33,000 meals or something, including to hospitals as well. Yeah, we've um, supported Barnet Hospital um, quite heavily, uh, Norfolk Park as well. Uh, we've supported Mary Curie with their sort of cancer program and, and Cherry Lodge and stuff like that. Um, so different beneficiaries that we work with during our normal sort of activity, we've continued to work and help with, as well as other local primary schools. Um, yeah, it's just been it's been a busy, busy period for us uh, throughout throughout the whole the whole lockdown. So you head up the community here at the Hive, but it's been a real strong team of employees and, and volunteers as well who've all got their hands dirty and got right involved. Yeah, it's um, we, we have had to unfortunately furlough some staff, um, as, as most organisations have, have done so, um, but we've had a core group of full-time staff, um, myself, John, who's been over at the community centre running the, the food bank primarily and the distribution from, from there. Um, Sean and Connor, who have both been working with local schools in providing support for key workers and, and kids that have, have not been able to sort of have their, their usual day-to-day -day routines. Um, for yourself, how self-rewarding is it to be able to give back to the community in this way? Because it, as you said at the start, it's very different to what the, the Hive Trust would usually do. It is. We, we did have a food bank, but it wasn't obviously obviously spoken about in the same context that that it is now uh, we you know most of the work that we do throughout the year is is rewarding um i think because of the emphasis on you know people going hungry and, and the need uh, this has been much more rewarding than than what we would normally do um and we'll look to continue to support in the same way um, you know, for as long as we need to, to, to do so. Just how important is it that a club and a site like ours helps both its local community here in Harrow and Edgeware, but as well as what you've been getting up to in Barnet as well? And it sometimes can be forgotten how much work does get done in the borough of Barnet. Yeah, it's, it's massive. I mean, I've, I've been out this morning. We've delivered a few hundred meals this morning to, to, to organisations in, in Barnet. Uh, we probably do more work in Barnet still from, from existing partnerships that we had when we moved across to the Hive. Um, and obviously we've expanded that work into Harrow. So, um, you know, we won't forget that the club is is Barnet Football Club um, and, and we'll continue to, to support everybody in, in that borough, you know, as, as well as, as we always have done. And just lastly, it was a nice little reward, I guess, to, for you and Sean, you were down at the Oval playoff eliminator a couple of weeks ago it must be nice just to have an afternoon off from doing all those deliveries yeah um chairman sort of extended the offer for us to to head down and obviously support the team um it was you know it was it was a good day obviously for us and it was rewarding to know that the work that we've done during the lockdown um has been acknowledged sort of within the club um and and yeah it was it was just a, a generally nice thing to do and be on the end of